Look out. It actually is the power to the world of the show. And the one This is the power to the world of the show. It's from the uh, AC. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when I put it on, the going to turn it It goes down. So now, the generator coil is acting like another motor coil. It's helping the original motor. recharging the batteries but not slowing down the car and then when the vehicle falls below the coil's critical minimum frequency then it goes into regenerative braking and so it's continually recharging the batteries and that's the that's the essence of the innovation and so basically if we talk about uh, you know if a formula e car well, a Formula E car is only regen is only able to, to to regen its batteries on braking. With this innovation in the car, it's basically providing regen the entire time. And that will increase the rate. That will increase the range of the race car accordingly, or reduce the battery weight uh, depending on how much uh, uh, general acceleration you. And again, this is, this is, uh, you know, this prototype is demonstrating one coil, and um, this is a basic. This is a, this is a, this is a, a 10 amp regen amp coil. So if you want it, if you want it, you know, well, this is between a five and 10 amp, depending on on uh, the magnet strength. But if you want it, let's say, uh, if you want it uh, 100 amps, 200 amps, then you, uh, you would use uh, the appropriate number of coils. 
So I saw that the player is just yeah. Like, it's still kind of yeah. 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 So that's the same call. And that's the same call that's also the motor as well. And this was the kind of separate in my case. And then the story here, right? Yeah, well, were you, yeah, basically, if this was, let's say, in an EV, this would be the motor that drives the EV. And the regenerative acceleration unit would go on either the drive shaft of the motor or uh, on the drive shaft, um, basically, between the motor and the So we kind of store this uh, no, these, when these are When this is done in a, in a finished unit, the coils will go like this. So they will, they'll, they'll be like this, okay? And they'll go from one side of the magnet to the other. And um, depending on how much current you need for your electric vehicle, for regenerative acceleration, that dictates the, the number of uh, coils you would have and the strength of the magnets. And basically, this unit, when it's finished, will look something like this here. Will be about this size, and will be uh, be about a 60 amp, uh, 60 to 100 amp uh, return acceleration unit, and it can go into an electric vehicle as a range extender, and uh, or go into a race car as a something. So I think I understand the basic person for the behind the invention. But, uh, you have an extra coil in there, to, so when there is water running, then uh, which create uh, another electric magnet field that will drive this energetic current to the charge. Yeah. To the uh, charging to the battery, but uh, well, the only no. question is that uh, this will not put the resistance to the unlike the re conventional region, uh, which will create uh, a reverse torque. Yeah. To the, but this was not, it's because of the no quantum delay you just mentioned. And what we wanted, our, our deliberate intention was to find a way to uh, get rid of the regenerative braking aspect or to reduce it. And uh, we were hoping that we could reduce it by 10% and we reduced it by 100%. And we, can, we, we are now able to actually reverse the regenerative braking uh, paradigm and create regenerative acceleration. And, uh, but the other question that the total meter should be the same, right? And uh, the, when you do the demo, that it just should be that when you do the uh, re regeneration. Yeah. And, uh, how do you put it? Low current delay? Low current delay regeneration. Yeah. The actual input. And power goes down. Goes down. Yeah. That's the innovation. The more the if you had if you had more than one coil and they were operating in in conventional mode, regenerative braking mode, the more power you took, the more deceleration you would create. The regenerative acceleration coil is the exact flip side of the conventional coil. The more coils you have, the more output power you deliver, the more your input goes down. It's, it's, uh, it is the exact flip side of everything that a conventional en electrical engineer understands about electric uh, generator performance. And this is why your PhDs had a little bit of trouble with some of the things that I was saying in an email, because it goes, it's, it's basically opposite of everything that they understand. What's a fraction? of the energy of this uh, quantity coil that can generate 